And then there was this other belief from Victorian times, the thinning of the veil, which is believed to be a bit of a later addition because ancient Irish didn't really believe in the thinning of the veil. What they believed in was that the, the world of magic was all around us. But this was a, a time of year when the dead was celebrated and the supernatural was celebrated. Today I visited a site that I've known about for a couple of years now from the time of the videos around Rach Krahen, which is potentially up there as the top tree or maybe top location for the start of the Samhain celebrations. It came to my attention that At Boy and the Hill of Ward, Tlachtke in Gaelic, was to a lot of people the actual origination of Halloween, Ia Samhain. There's evidence for this site going back thousands of years, potentially back to the Bronze Age. But some say, some researchers say that there's actually evidence of it going back to the Neolithic period, meaning that it potentially is up to a couple of thousand years old. This site is unbelievable because it's a quadrivalent site, which means it comprises of four ditches, four embankments. The amount of embankments of a ring fort or a hill fort is in relevance to its importance. So the fact that there's four, there's very few of these in the country. One in the hill of Tara, and I believe there's another one. Yes, there is definitely one at Rach Krahen as well, and maybe another one. So that's it, like, you know, it's it's a very important place back in pagan times, but all the way up to more recent times as well. So this place is fascinating because of the origination of Samhain especially, and that's why I visited the site because I wanted to experience the the power of the ancestors and what it, what this place meant to them and you know there's a pit that they reckon was where they actually set the fires from and it's a huge depression at the side of the complex and you know in mythology this place goes all the way back to either a sun goddess or a druidess it seemed seemingly either it was a goddess tlaka that was the sun goddess or the sun god, Mahrua, and she was the daughter of this guy. Also, there's connections to the ancient high kings. So this is a, a place that goes back all the way back to mythological times. So in terms of the actual Samhain celebrations, it is going back, not 100% when it all started, but it's definitely going back a very long time. It was down to the transition from the the light part of the year from Bialtana to Samhain. Some believe that it's the actual end of the year, and this is the start of the new year, the, the winter, the winter, the dark phase. And then there was this other belief from Victorian times, the thinning of the veil, which is believed to be a bit of a later addition because Ancient Irish didn't really believe in the thinning of the veil. What they believed in was that the, the world of magic was all around us. But this was a, a time of year when the dead was celebrated and the supernatural was celebrated. And they reckoned that what happened here was that they started to dress up in order to kind of either mix in with the spirits or to appease the spirits. And they made sacrifices to the spirits here in the supernatural realm by offering gifts by offering food, by offering sacrifices to the, the old gods. So this was a really huge part of, of our mythology and folklore. And right up until this day, you see remnants of this festival in Halloween, when we all get dressed up and we trick or treat and we eat you know, certain foods. This is all tracing back to these ancient origins. And it's important to know these things. And this is why I went to the site was to kind of connect with the the origin story of, of, of Halloween, and it was fascinating. I just want to ask you a big favor because you've made it this far. If you could just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, if you haven't done already, it would really help. It would help this video. It would help future content. It incentivizes me to continue creating this content for you. Also, if you're feeling very generous and you know somebody that will like this, make sure you share it to them. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the video. It was such a beautiful, peaceful place as well. I saw people in there. I think they were picking potentially hot or some sort of bushes. You know, they were locals, it, it looked like. 
and you know just there, there was i didn't there was no one on the site when i went there and there was no one for the whole time i was there there was just a couple of sheep that were very very peaceful and you you could you could see very far as well you could see mountains that were probably 100 miles away like 70 100 miles away someone was saying to me that you can see right up to Derry. like i don't know how true that is but you can see certainly Tara, La Cru. You can see other ancient sites from this place. It's located in County Mead in the Brew, the Boyna Valley, the Boyna Valley. So it's just a magical place. It's a completely spiritual, ancient place. And I felt so connected. And I made a little offering myself. I offered a little scone. And that was to the two other Danon. You know, and I know that's kind of controversial for Christians and stuff to hear. But for me, it's more about reverence and just appreciating our ancestors. You know, cutting off our ancestors and pretending and these people didn't exist is, is absolutely sacrilege, in my opinion. And actually, the early Christians would have um, been doing these activities. You know what I mean? It wasn't until the colonization happened and the actual conquering of this country that a lot of that stuff changed. So for me... I'm very much in reverence. I don't necessarily have a massive belief in, in massive rituals or anything like that. It's not about that. It's more about just respect. And it's more about just re um, remembering, connecting, and just being a part of the story. You know, it's, it's not about really trying to upset anything. You know, for me, I asked per for permission when I entered the site. You know, and I, and I thanked um, the spirit of the land when I was leaving for, for, for having me. And it was just a very peaceful time. I really loved it. I was I was actually quite tired on this day because my sleep pattern is a bit off. But, you know, I felt like, you know, I did something very productive by going to this site and for showing it to you and for showing it to the world because this is a very, very important site. And for anybody that's visiting Ireland, I would definitely say have these type of locations on your list. You know, they're off the beaten track, but this is where you're seeing real Ireland. You know, sometimes even going to Newgrange is a bit too easy. You know, sites like this is is absolutely essential on your bucket list, especially if you if you have a car and stuff like that. So that was it for Tlachka, Ia Samhain, the origination of Ia Samhain, Halloween, the Hill of Ward outside At Boy. And by the way, I stopped at At Boy, a lovely cafe. It was so nice, and it was a beautiful day. And At Boy seems to be very nice. They celebrate a Puka festival as well, which starts later in the month and halloween is actually probably one of my favorite times of the year i think it's becoming like my favorite time of the year i don't know i just feel like i really connect with the supernatural and really connect with the ancient mythology and folklore and it's becoming a huge part of my life and i'm very happy that i went to this site and experienced it and i'm very blessed and honored that i live in such a place and also very grateful to whoever's involved in the upkeep of the place the, um, you know the private owners as well and you know they're looking after the place so that's it over and out from Bertie Brosnan would you believe me oh yes